My new motherboard arrived in the mail today. Now I can fix my broken laptop computer which I use for producing my videos. So stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Yep, I had to order a, uh, a, well, it's a used motherboard from a eBay. That's where I got it. I think I paid like 63 bucks and some change for it, including shipping. So we're going to go ahead and install it in my broken laptop. I think I covered this before that in a previous video, I replaced the uh, hard drive in my laptop computer because I thought the hard drive was going bad. When I replaced the hard drive, the new hard drive was doing the same thing that the old hard drive was doing. And coincidentally, my card reader slot was malfunctioning also. With both of those items doing bad things to me, that's when I deducted that it was the motherboard actually that was going bad. Now this is the second motherboard I put in this computer. I had replaced it two years ago I believe and it was a used motherboard. So we're going to update the motherboard with a new motherboard and let's get started. Okay let's open this. with a utility knife by the way Discovery Channel bought me this little utility knife we shot a scene with it on the roof of the house when we were putting the roof on and it's in the main episode of Homestead Rescue Honey I Torched the Homestead and Marty used this to slice the uh, length of the metal and be able to cut metal with this. That's right. So check that episode out. Also, uh, it appears in a new show that just appeared on Discovery Channel. I believe it's called Homestead Hacks Revealed, where my son and I uh, participate in an episode about using a utility knife and a um, circular saw with a backwards blade on it to uh, cross cut the metal. And that just premiered about two weeks ago, so look that one up on Discovery Channel. Okay, back to the motherboard. Let's go look to see what we got. Very carefully wrapped, very well done. And, of course, inside this protective covering. It comes with the CPU. That's great. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the operation on the dining room table. So let's get started. Disassemble the computer and get the motherboard out of there and replace it. Please forgive the background noise. My wife is in the process of doing wash, so we're good. Get through this. And the first thing I'm going to do is remove the battery. And then we're going to flip it over, open it up, and remove this strip right here to expose the um, screws that hold the keyboard in. So we're going to need to take the keyboard out. Screw number one. Screw number two. Screw number three. And screw number four. Now this allows us to lift the keyboard up and pull it back and these two little white tabs you want to push them out to release the ribbon and then take your keyboard and set it aside you have some plugs to release here you got to pull those little black tabs off and disengage that 
ribbon, cable. You have these three plugs that need to come out and they just plug right on out. Along with that one. You also have this one you need to pop out. I'm just gently pressing with a screwdriver. There we go, get us engaged. And you also want to remove this screw right here. Set it aside, and there's a screw right here you'll need to take out. And that completes the this side of the computer. Go ahead and close it, flip it over, remove this screw, and you have one just like it on the other side. Next thing you want to do is take this plate off, just loosen this screw, it's fixed to the plate so it won't come out, and just pop it up and slide that out of the way, and that exposes your memory ch uh, RAM chips. To get those out, you just pop that, pop that, and it comes right up, and you pull it straight out, set those chips apart, and pull it out and set them aside. You have this card to take out so we're just going to remove the two screws that are holding it in. And lift up. It, it plugs in in this little plug-in right here and that frees that. So just let it flop down. And now you have a screw right here you're going to need to take that out the next screw I'm going to take out is this one right here and I'll show you what this screw releases Let's set that screw aside and that releases the hard drive so you just slide that out that's right one screw holds the dry uh, the hard drive in so we're going to set the hard drive aside. The next thing is to open this box right here. So again, like the other cover, we just release the screw, pop it up, and the screw stays attached. We set that aside. Now this reveals the hard drive. So we're going to take this screw right here, this one little screw, and set that aside. And the hard drive, we just Pull out, lift up, and remove it. You have a screw right here. You're going to need to take that out.
and you set that screw aside. And then over here, you've got three unique screws. This is the hard drive bay, and you've got three unique screws that need to come out. So we're going to go ahead and release those three screws. And set them aside. Now in the battery compartment, you have three screws that are unique. You want to take those out. And the rest, all these other screws out all the way around. So once you get all those removed, then you can carefully lift the computer off. And now we, we flip it over, open it up, and carefully lift this top plate off. And we set that aside. Now we got to set this aside. This just unplugs and set that aside. These plugs you unplugged, we can go ahead and take those and set them aside. We got a plug right here. Again, you just unplug it, set that aside. And you got another plug right here and pull that aside. And then you have this main plug right there. Just pop it out, set it aside. That's to your screen, your camera, and your microphone. This motherboard still has one more screw that you need to take out. And I'll show you where that screw is. You'll find it right here, and it's marked with an F6. Just like the other screws that are on the bottom of it, they're marked with an F6 that sh indicates these are screws that hold the motherboard in place. This is your cooling fan right here and then these plugs right here you want to be careful you don't force your motherboard up. Also on the front of the computer motherboard you have this volume control knob so I'm going to show you how to gingerly take this motherboard out without destroying any of those components. Take it from this back corner and carefully lift up and tilt back a little bit. Don't force anything because you're trying to slide it right on out of there ever so gingerly. And go ahead and set the motherboard right here for now and set the computer back because I won't be needing that right now. I have to remove the cooling system from the board. So we flip it over there. I remove, well I unplug it first. We unplug the cooling fan. We remove this screw and this screw. And we take the cooling fan out and set it aside. Now we have the cooling system to remove. For the cooling system, I'm going to go ahead and remove these two screws. and remove this clip and then we're going to remove, remove these last two screws and take this part out Now you'll notice this goo on here. That is 
Arctic Silver that is needed when you're reapplying stuff to your heat sinks. And that's what we've got. I have a little tube of the Arctic Silver. It's called uh, Ceramic 2. And you can order this online. I'm going to set this motherboard aside. And then we're going to carefully take out my new motherboard and inspect it. What I'm looking for specifically is this component right here. It's a micro res uh, resistor. And some boards that blows. And that's what happened with my first board is that micro resistor blew and that controls your audio. So this is intact. We're going to tilt the board the same way it was. I'm going to now replace the cooling system. So right now I'm going to squirt a little of this paste on my heat sink. And when I press that on, it'll all spread out. And we're going to stall everything in the reverse order that I took it apart. Replace this clip. Make sure we put it on correctly. Reinstall the cooling fan. Be sure to plug it in. Now it's time to install this in, into the computer. We're going to set this motherboard aside. Okay, this next part is a bit tricky because you've got to try to Maneuver your motherboard in and get the wires that are supposed to be on top and the wires that are supposed to be underneath. So let's try this. Now I want to add that. Be sure you put the motherboard in the same technique in as you took it out at an angle. So we've got to make sure we flip these cords up. And then tilt this edge down first.
And don't ever force anything. And it should slide right down in there just peaceably. Okay, at this point, go ahead and put that screw in place right here. And you can start plugging in the different components to the motherboard. Careful not to bend those pins. This little plug goes right there. And this plug goes clear back here. Okay, make sure my plugs are nice and in. We're going to go ahead and plug this in. And screw it down. Now it's only screwed down by this one screw here in the corner. At this point I'm going to go ahead and put the top cover on. Now don't forget you have this plug right here to plug in. You have this plug over here to plug in. And you have this special ribbon cable to plug in over here. You got to feed that down inside. Make sure that's backed off and make sure that's seated well inside of there. And then lock it in place. And give that a tug. Yep, it's locked into place. Now double check on all your connections. At this point we're going to go ahead and put this screw in. And since we're still working on the side we can put, uh, attach the uh, keyboard. So remember sliding that in, that cable in, like we did that other little um, ribbon cable. Just finesse that in just very carefully and lock it into place. Give it a slight tug to see that it's seated. And then place your motherboard or place your keyboard. Ah, just like that. We can now attach the three screws four screws
we're going to go ahead and replace this strip. And flip it over. Restore this card to its little plug-in holder. It has a little plug-in right there. And you want to make sure you match that up and plug it in and make sure it's, sure it's seated really well. And this card is held in by two screws. At this point you can put the RAM chips in. You slide them in from an angle and push them down and it locks them into place. And you do both of them the same way. Okay, we put the screw in there. We can replace the cover plate. And tighten that screw down. Replace the screws in the battery bay. Moving on to the hard drive, we've got a uh, screw to put back into this place. This is one of those hidden screws that holds the motherboard in place. Then we can go ahead and slide in the hard drive. Be sure to replace the keeper screw. Okay, we can go ahead and replace the cover and tighten down that one. Now to the DVD bay. We're going to go ahead and replace those screws down there. And then replace the DVD. And don't forget to put in the keeper for the DVD right in that little hole. And the next task is replacing all of these screws. And finally, don't forget these two on the back. Replace the battery. Oh. Now let's turn it on. So far so good. 
the computer seems to be working okay. That's it on a money saving idea and changing out your own motherboard and buying a cheap one on eBay. Hopefully this one will sustain me for a couple of years. I'm your host Jerry Hansen here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you guys for joining me and sharing this adventure with me. We'll see you guys in more videos. Bye bye.